Good afternoon. I hope this weekly e-news finds you well on this day. This month is Black History Month, and for this Sunday in the United Church of Christ, it is Racial Justice Sunday. And in particular, we're going to be focusing in on um, Join the Movement. It is a movement within the United Church of Christ uh, dealing specifically with racial justice. And for this Sunday, we're going to bless the banned books. Yes, we have heard all about the numerous books that are being banned across our country in this highly divisive political season. And yet we know that these banned books, some of them I suspect you have read, I know I have read some of them, have been deeply impactful on our lives as we think about how we come to terms with our history and how we can move forward and make our present day and our future better. As we take this opportunity to bless these banned books, more importantly, it's to talk about the written word. It's to talk about how stories inform us, challenge us, and make us think outside our own little sphere in which we live. When I was in seminary, I was deeply impacted by the writers of, um, numerous writers, there's too many to count, but as I would look at scripture, and then I'd look at these theologians, and then as I, was, as I would read fiction books, nonfiction books, and how all of that informs my theology, my opinions, my values, how it challenges them, how we are invited into these words on pages to interrogate and wonder why, why would someone do this? Why would someone do that? And why would we ban these books so that we aren't in touch with, ha with, with that which has happened so long ago? I want to read a portion of um, a writing um, that, is, uh, that was provided to us by the United Church of Christ. Um, in, in this moment about these books. And it says, in a time of intense political polarization, we are facing an unprecedented number of attempts to ban books. Books by authors of color, by LGBTQ plus authors, by women and books about racism, sexuality, gender, history are the ones most often targeted by bans. When some seek to police access to some experiences, some history, some understanding, some ideas, the image of God is dimmed. Without these books, our encounters with the amazing diversity of creation are incomplete and our capacity for compassion across differences is stymied. Our love of God is limited because we do not have the chance to recognize all the ways the divine image is manifest in our world. Exactly. We cannot stymie these words. And I'm also mindful of how critical it is for us to be mindful of these authors who have informed us and who we haven't even had a chance to read yet and how important the voices are. I'm also just very mindful that even when we look at scriptures, there's a lot in our scriptures. There's a lot of content in our scriptures. Some of it is ex, ex, um, shares about exploitation. There is sexual assault in our scriptures. There is um, different marriage content, uh, contracts involved in our scriptures. There is a lot going on in that book alone. And if we're not able to couple that with some of the other authors of our time and even our history to help make sense of that, what are we supposed to do? Live in a vacuum? So my folks, so my friends, on this day, I want us to be thinking about the many ways in which we encounter good books. And maybe not so good books, but the ways in which after we're done reading that book or a chapter or whatever it is, and you sit back and you wonder, huh, I never thought of it that way. That's deeply meaningful and powerful. 
And those are the ways in which we can continue to question what goes on in our world and how then we can be better stewards of treating each other fairly and to go above and beyond ways in which we can be more inclusive. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday as we take some time to talk about those books that have meant a great deal to us, those books that challenge us to be inclusive, those books that challenge us to love and to welcome, those books that have deeply impacted our life. God's light and love be with you on this day, and I look forward to seeing you real soon.